a once everyday event recreated on the Great Central Railway. stop pick up and drop off of bags full of mail. These trains were called travelling post offices. Letters picked up could be carried all the way to the final destination or sorted on board and then loaded into leather pouches to be dropped off again on the way. Because the train didn't have to stop, time wouldn't be lost slowing down for a station, changing bags on a platform and then starting away again. It could all be done automatically in seconds. On the Great Central Railway, the travelling post office carriages are owned and maintained by Railway Vehicle Preservations Limited. They have some carriages which date from the 1930s and a slightly more modern postal train dating from the 1950s. The basic principle of the exchange remains the same. On the ground, you need a post and a net. When there's a mail train approaching, the ground crew fold the net out, then attach the mail bags to the arms on the post and rotate it so the bags face the track. Some distance ahead of the apparatus is a warning board, lit up at night. It has a distinctive yellow and black pattern. As the train approaches, the crew in the carriages are looking for the warning board. That's their cue to extend the net on the train and also lower mail bags on spring-loaded arms. The net on the train scoops up the bags on the post and the net on the ground collects the bags from the train. The bags on the ground can be collected, the post is rotated back and the net folded away. At its height, the travelling post office network was handling five million letters every year and was celebrated in the famous film Night Mail. On the Great Central Railway, heritage trains usually run at 25 miles per hour. But under certain strict operating conditions, the demonstration mail drops operate at a slightly higher speed. The mail bag exchange equipment is at Quorn and Woodhouse Station. The driver accelerates on the approach, and inside, the travelling post office crew are looking out for the warning board. This angle gives us a great look at the warning board and the lamp underneath it. From here, there are just seconds to go to the pickup and drop off. Filmed on the same run, here's what it looks like to collect the bags. Once again, the crew are looking for the warning board before they operate the net. post offices crisscrossed the UK at night, operating between cities and depots. They also saw use on railways around the world. The history is long and distinguished. Mail was first carried by rail in the 1830s and by the end of that decade was being sorted on board. The first non-stop exchange happened in 1866 and the practice lasted more than a century until 1971. By then, trains were running faster, and in particular they could accelerate much more rapidly. The feeling at the time was the non-stop exchange was no longer needed. In the UK, the final mail was sorted on board trains in early 2004. The equipment used in that final drop in 1971 was located near Penrith. Railway Vehicle Preservations recovered it 
and moved it to the Great Central Railway, where it's still in use today. Now a new generation can experience it. It only takes a moment, but once seen close up, is never forgotten. <laughs> 